Hi there. Welcome to Mr. T's wonderful world of industrial tech. Welcome to my shop. So today what we're going to talk about, a little bit about hand planes. How to adjust them, even what they are. And in another video we'll talk about how to actually use them. So, here we go. There's a wide variety of hand planes. Something as small as this. I don't know that's called a thumb plane, but you'll notice it's not even the length of my hand. Uh, very tiny. Moving up, these are block planes. Okay, different styles. Block planes are good for planing the end of a piece of wood. Not something we typically do at our school, but maybe at other schools they do. So different forms of block planes, and you'll notice the size difference as you're as we're increasing um, in the type of plane. This particular plane is called a smoothing plane. It is similar to the plane that we use at our school, Queen Charlotte. Um, the difference between this one and the ones we use, the ones we use at Queen Charlotte are a little longer. Uh, they're called jack planes. They go about mm, this much longer. Uh, they can actually range from 12 to about 15 or 16 inches long. So what I can do is I can show you how to adjust the plane using this particular model uh, and the application is the same for the jack plane. So when we look at a plane there's a whole bunch of different parts. Uh, I don't require students to know all of the parts but there are a few key ones to know. First of all if we look at the shape of the plane, the plane almost looks like a boot if you want to think of it that way, a boot or a sneaker. And if you think of it in that analogy this would be the front or the toe, back is known as the heel. The bottom is known as the sole or the base. Beyond that, we have this front thing that looks almost like a trailer hitch. Uh, that's a knob. This part right here that you're going to hold on to is called the handle. The This part right here, that is called the plane iron or more simply the blade. The big opening down here is the mouth. And there's a really, there's a brass colored wheel right here. That is the adjusting nut. And right under here, we can get right in there, uh, that little lever back there, which will slide from side to side, is called the adjusting lever. These are the two key ones that you need to know and you need to know how to adjust. So when you go to adjust a plane, you're going to take it and put the heel on the table. So you're going to sit the heel down on, on a workbench, nice and flat. Do a quick little adjustment here. So you're going to set it just like this. And in order to adjust it, you're going to look down the toe and along the sole. So it's going to be this sort of this motion here. So you can see what's happening with that blade as you're doing your adjustments. So as you're holding it like this, and this is something you need to do standing up. Uh, it's not something you want to do sitting down. Um, so stand up next to the workbench. Um, put the heel down and with one hand I'm right-handed so I'm going to hold the gold uh, adjusting nut right here with my right hand and I'm going to turn it in a counterclockwise direction now the thing about these adjusting nuts is they're going to get loose and then they're going to tighten up once they tighten up keep going don't stop uh, if you stop it's not going to do anything that little play that's in there is just to allow the adjusting nut to move so that it can engage the blade so it can start to uh, to do your final adjustment. So what we're going to do is I'm going to keep turning this. Okay, I'm going to try and bring that a little closer so you can see what's happening here. So I'm turning that and as I'm turning that, let's see if we can get a, you probably can't notice it, but once we have that turned, And if we keep turning, and it is a challenge to turn it, you can see, I don't know if we can get that on film, I think we can. Um, you can see how much of that blade is sticking out right there. Now I'm just pointing this, never ever rub your finger along the blade because that's the edge. Now this blade you want sticking out about the thickness of a piece of paper, maybe two. So once you get it, you know, learn how to adjust it in and out, it's going to be easier to adjust it for that specific thickness. Now the other thing that's going to happen that you can do is you take this adjusting lever and we're going to take 
And again, if I get this into the right position, and if I shove that lever from side to side, it should tilt the blade. And again, I don't know if it's that evident on the video, but you'll notice, you may notice, or when you do it yourself, you'll notice that that is going to cause the blade to tilt further out or one, one side or the other. Your goal with that blade is to be parallel with the bit, with the plane base, with the sole, so that it's parallel. So I'm just going to make that quick adjustment. And once you get that adjusted, now you're going to turn your adjusting nut, again, back to your adjusting nut. You're going to turn it in the opposite direction from the first time. You're going to bring that blade back in. Now again, it's going to get really loose, but then it will tighten up. Keep going. So we're going to so if you'll notice, and you'll tell by feel, that'll spin very freely, right this way. But now when I'm trying to back it up, it's sort of, it's really tight, but keep going. Trust me, you're not going to break these things. They're pretty indestructible. So now when I turn that backwards, or now when I'm looking at it from this way, it's in a clockwise motion. I'm going to bring that back in. And that is sticking out about the thickness of a piece of paper. So if you're ever adjusting or touching the bottom, you always work from the heel to the toe because of the angle of the blade. You don't want to cut your finger. And I've got that out about the thickness of a piece of paper. Let's see if we can adjust that, see if you can see. A little challenging to see that, I'd say. Um, and now we're going to be ready to go. Make sure it's even all the way across. Make sure it's out just a little bit and you're going to start your planing. As you're planing, if you find you're not getting any shavings, that simply means your blade's not out far enough. If you're jamming, it's chunking into your wood and it's, you know, you can't get any further, that just means your blade's out too far. Make your proper adjustments. Anyway, so that's our plain, the plain truth for today. I certainly hope that you have a great day. Uh, good luck with your planing and uh, we will see you next time.